What is self-love? This is a question that uh, gets asked a lot and yet not enough because self-love has become a buzzword. It's become trendy. It's become uh, a way to sell people stuff. And few people actually truly understand what is it we're even buying? When we say self-love is something that you get to have and you get to work on, what is that? What is self-love? And I wanna break this down for you in a way that you may not have heard before, which is that self-love is actually a byproduct of the relationship you have with yourself. I'm gonna say that again. Self-love is the byproduct of the relationship that you have with yourself. So think about the relationship you have with someone that you love. Let's think about um, a romantic partner as an example. How did you fall in love with that person? How do you stay in love with that person? You fall in love and you stay in love through shared experiences. You fall in love and you stay in love through respect and through communication, through putting in quality time. You stay uh, in love through physical affection. These are all aspects. These are all dynamics of the relationships you have with people that you love. And so why would you think that self-love is any different? Self-love is simply the result of the time and the energy and the attention that you put in to yourself. So let's look at that through a couple different angles. What about the physical, right? Physical affection. Are you physically affectionate with yourself? That can look like a lot of things. That can look like exercise. That could look like stretching. That could look like massage. That could look like just putting on some lotion, taking a bath. But are you loving your physical body? What about quality time? Are you spending quality time with yourself? And that, that doesn't, there's a difference between being alone and being with yourself. Those are two different things. You can be completely alone and be ignoring what's actually wanting to come out. You can be ignoring the fact that you want a little physical affection. You could be ignoring the fact that what you want is some silence and instead you put on uh, the television or you have planes flying around and, and you don't actually feel like you're satisfying your need for silence. Quality time, listening to yourself. What do you actually want? What do you, you actually need? And then we have words of affirmation, right? Another love language. Are you giving yourself positive words of affirmation? Or are you just speaking negative to, negatively to yourself all the time, over and over and over, telling yourself you're not enough, you're not attractive enough, you're not beautiful enough, you're not smart enough, you're not capable, you don't have enough like qualifications to do the thing, like whatever that is. Are you giving yourself gifts, right? Gifts, and they could be simple. They could be cooking yourself dinner. Are you doing that? There are so many aspects of uh, relationships, how we relate to other people, and we can see that in our romantic partnerships and say, wow, we're not spending enough quality time. I feel like I really want some physical affection from you. I'm gonna buy a gift and tell you how much I love you. Um, all of these things, acts of service is another love language where what, what are we doing in service to ourselves? Right now, I'm literally sitting in the grass with my dog, putting my feet in the earth. This for me is an act of self-love. I didn't used to do this, but now I've realized over time how important it is to me, how much of a difference it makes in my life when I can actually put my feet into the, the earth and um, I can sit and be out in the sun. These are things that I appreciate. I know they cause me to feel better when I do them. And so as a result, I'm going to do them more often as an act of self-love. As a result of building that relationship to myself, and yet so many people on the planet, they don't listen to themselves. They say negative things, right? There's negative self-talk. Then when the body says, don't eat that, that dessert, it's, I already have too much sugar happening in my system, we eat it anyway. When the body says, hey, can we just sit and stretch and take care of it? Say, no, I'm just gonna, gonna put on mindless television and I'm gonna drink alcohol to numb out or take prescription pills. 
Like these are behaviors that people are doing, which if you looked at it as an from an external standpoint, you, you saw that as an external relationship between two people, you would say, wow, that person is not listening to that person. That person's saying really mean things to their partner. That person's never actually giving them any physical love. Of course, that relationship is going to fall apart or be unhealthy or unhappy. So self-love is the byproduct of the relationship you have with yourself. And so start to see yourself as the person you are in relationship with and start to ask those questions of how you're showing up for yourself in relationship. That's the starting point of self-love. And from there, you build, you grow, you start to get to know yourself even better. You start to know what you like, what you don't like, what works. And as a result, your self-love will deepen. And as your self-love deepens, the reflection in the outer world will respond and show you that you are worthy. It will show you in the relationships that you wind up having with your friends, your family, your loved ones. It'll show you in the opportunities that show up. It'll show you in the amount of financial abundance you're able to call in. All of these things will up-level as a result of self-love because self-love is self-worth. When you say you are worthy of more, more of whatever it is, whether it's financial, whether it's love from others, whether it's um, just more adventure, more opportunity, more creativity, whatever it is, more of it is available to you when you love yourself more deeply. And that will be the result of the time, energy, and attention you are putting in to the relationship you have with yourself. If this has been helpful, make sure you hit that subscribe button, I'm putting out more and more of these videos and leave a comment. Let me know uh, how this landed for you. Let me know what you think because this is a community here and I wanna grow it together. I appreciate you and I wanna remind you that always in all ways you are seen, you are heard and you are loved.